I actually asked Sam for some of his stats. If you don't keep it real, then you go somewhere but here Cause you know we're only losing control just for a minute Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. So it's currently raining here in the pole, which is extremely weird. I'm on my way to Cape Town for the prize giving for yesterday's Cape Town Cycle Tour. So while I do my travel, here's a few highlights of the of yesterday's race. Um, but they're trying to get a break going. Brakes have succeeded in winning this race. Not very often because they're spinning back to bring it back together. shoulder on the left hand side gaze Sam gaze has gone hard up the uh, upper reaches of uh, Seiko Bossi the Investec Songo specialized rider huge gear yeah he's got the power this man who's come after him gaze has made the move split the field no reaction from the Lamini surprise <laughs> Calvin Birnick is chasing him down. Gurdelson's going to go on his own. Is he going to drag the others? Two of them. Gaze is way back in fifth or sixth wheel. Gurdelson is going. He's holding on. Dylan Gurdelson. Can he go all the way? On they go. Jason Oosthuizen is chasing down. And it's Jason Oosthuizen, Clint Hendricks, Sam Gaze coming on the right for Investex Whoa. Songo Specialized. Two for Investex Songo Specialized. Sam Gaze does it in the men's race after Cherise Willett did it in the women's. And what a finish. The powerhouse from New Zealand on the mountain bike has done it on the road here in the Cape Town Cycle Tour. Ooh, back to that guy. Well, 
Giving done. Now I'm back in my caddy. On my way back to Jogo. So that's a long drive. We're gonna stop halfway. So yeah, let the drive begin. Okay, cool, that is my traveling done. 14 hour drive, takes a while. Post cycle to the fields. Happy with how the race went. Would have liked a, a bit of a, a better lead out into the sprint. I did go a bit early there, but it's okay. Life happens, you learn and you make mistakes. First of all, my perspective on the, on the race. So going into the race, I was quite blank. I didn't know where, what is. Um, I've never done the race before. So it was the first time on the route as well. Kent actually told me that 50 k's there's quite a, a steep climb, but nothing major. So um, I just made sure I was at the front most of the time. And then at the 50 k mark, I'm not sure what the climb was, but um, there the race split completely. I think we were 15 guys that got away. And then it whittled down little by little by little, and then um, the rest of the race was quite steady. Because um, we all contributed to the pace making every now and then, I would skip a turn, someone else would skip a turn, but that's life, that's part of racing. So we all contributed to the pacemaking, I'll say fairly. Um, after that, it was just one attack went, that was up Sacred Horsey, that Sam tried to get away, um, it all just came back together. And then a few flyers at the end went, Byron went um, with about, I'll say seven, seven k to go. And then on the last stretch next to the, to the sea, Nothing really went. Um, Girdlestone tried twice to get away, um, but none of them succeeded. So it went to the line with about, I think, 10 or 11 guys went to the line. Um, I saw in the left corner of my eye that Girdlestone started his attack at about 700 meters, 500 meters to go. And on the right hand side, Calvin came over. So I let a little gap go. Calvin came in, and then the sprint sort of, that was sort of the lead up that I had to jump off on. And, um, as I got close to the line, white line fever caught on to me. So was, I think it was 250, 200 meters to go. Felt a lot further, but that's what the commentary said. Um, I swung out of the slip and started my sprint. I actually asked Sam for some of his stats off of the top of his head. It was a 338 average power and 1675 watts for the final sprint, which was his max power. I don't know how long he sustained that, but um, that was the max output for him for the day. I'll take my hat off to him. He's on very good form now, leading up to the Cape Epic. He's really strong. He was a bit fresher than most of us after the tour, but nonetheless, he still gave us a great race and um, some stiff competition. I'm quite happy with the race. I've got no stats that I can put through because I don't have a power meter, so no interesting stats from me. That's the only stats I managed to get. I asked him yesterday and um, he politely gave it to me. So thank you to Sam. Thanks for giving me your stats on the race and um, all the best for the upcoming Cape Epic. Smash it, I'll be watching every stage and um, supporting you from my side. So let me know what your time was at the Cape Town Cycle Tour down in the comments. I'll respond to anyone that comments and um, if you don't, if you didn't do the race, just comment anything random. But if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Um, once I get to a thousand subscribers, I want to do a giveaway actually. So make sure you're one of the first thousand so you don't miss the giveaway. Thanks a lot for watching. Here's the link to my subscription. Over here is my most latest video that's out. So thanks a lot for the support and tune in for the next video.